While this isn't a headline you'll see each week, there's an ongoing effort in Pima County to prevent illegal drug sales. So far this year, the Sheriff's Department has had a hand in seizing drugs worth nearly $3.5 million on the street. Everything from meth to fentanyl and cocaine. It's something we got to see firsthand with the Pima County Sheriff's Department's Border Interdiction Unit. Our glimpse into border crime began earlier this spring. We rode with Sergeant Patrick Hilliker, a 23-year veteran of the force. Being on this job for so long, when it comes to thefts and burglaries and, and, and car thefts and everything that will disrupt our community and, and we're trying to make it safer, will have some kind of drug nexus, usually has some kind of drug nexus while it's coming in. He's one of the leaders of Pima County's Border Interdiction Unit, a specialized team of deputies focused on transnational crime. It deploys on highways and rural roads. On this particular day, we were along I-10. I-10 is a major route to get both north and, and east in this country, and a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of narcotic smuggling is, is on this route. And a lot of the times the narcotics even stays here and will stay here until it gets moved around the country. Sometimes it'll go to Phoenix, sometimes it'll stay here, sometimes it'll just come through and go directly towards other places in the United States. But there are plenty, there is a lot of times where it's held here until it gets distributed. I've been on ride alongs where it's in cars, vans, semis. Is that still happening where it can be any vehicle on this in front of us and there could be something nefarious going on? The narcotic smuggling industry and these drug trafficking organizations are very good at what they do. Um, they will find a way to get it up here. The crisis has been ongoing and they will, they will find any way and different ways um, to get the uh, narcotics up here, whether it's in cars, trains, semis, walking, any way you can think of, they've thought of a way to get it in here. I mean, it's shipped, it's shipped around the country. It's hit anywhere you can probably think of, they've probably thought of it in smuggling uh, the narcotics up here. Inside the county's evidence room, Hilliker and his team showed us a recent bust. More than 200 oxy pills laced with fentanyl and 12 pounds of meth, all hidden in compartments of this trunk. According to Hilliker, the driver was headed out of town on Oracle Road. Sitting on the table, it doesn't look like a lot, but. Uh, um, 12 pounds of meth is quite a bit for somebody to be running out of here. And obviously to us, it seemed like it was going out of town. So it was going somewhere else in the United States. More than likely, a lot of the stuff that comes through here goes back east. Um, I can't tell you exactly where it was going, but at least it didn't get there and somebody's not putting, putting this in their body. That's for sure. Hilliker says busts like this one happen weekly. Our camera was with a border interdiction unit during a traffic stop on I-10. Inside this truck, deputies found nine pounds of cocaine wrapped in a gift bag. The drug smuggling and the narcotic smuggling, they're very, very good at what they do. And it is extremely hard to try and find this stuff because they know how to hide it. They know how to have stories to tell. They know how to talk to us. More than 20 years experience for you in Pima County law enforcement. Has this always been an issue? Is it getting worse? How would you rate it? I would say it's always been a, it's always been a huge issue. I mean, there, ever since I've been a cop, there's, you know, just because of where we're at on the border as well as two, there's always been narcotics coming through here. For the most part, the, the narcotics have always been coming through here and at an astronomical rate. It is, it's almost unbelievable how much comes through here and the amount that we do is trying to do as much as we can for it. It's a small piece on working with everybody to try and deter as much as we can because there's so much coming through here. You just said unbelievable. And I mean, you've been doing this for more than 20 years. You're still impressed by what you see happening on, on the highways and in our community? Yes, ma'am. It is, uh, I don't think it's slowed down. I think it's and then it, what happens is, you know, certain drugs might get more popular or more wanted. So you'll see an increase in those. And, you know, when it comes to heroin or the cocaine or in uh, meth, and we've seen increases and decreases in each one. But the total of them all just never seem to go down. It's just whatever's more prevalent at the time goes up. And then when one goes down, one comes up. And it's just a constant flow. And it's, it's hard to say how much comes through here because we get quite a bit, but we know it's not that much in the big, big scheme of things. 
And I believe wholeheartedly and passionately that we are out here at least making some kind of difference. If we can stop one load from going somewhere here in Tucson or somewhere in the rest of the United States, to me, it's all worthwhile and we're doing the right thing. And it is absolutely public safety and saving lives to try and keep this garbage off the street.